I am truly inspired by montages. Or as we like to call them on 125th in Amsterdam, Montagas. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, holding it down one more time for PinnaclestudioPro.com. I know you guys want to know how to create great looking montages using Pinnacle Studio, so I'm going to show you how to get them done in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio, and it's time for us to get down on some montages, so let's get into it and have a little bit of fun, shall we? First thing you need to know is where the montages are located. Now you can get to the montages from the organize edit or the author tab really. If you're under the organize tab, then you just go over here to your fly out and you go to content and under content you'll see a beautiful section down here called montage. I love the way I say that, montage. Let's move on. All right. And then under the edit tab, you have the ability to click on the navigation flyout. And when you select the navigation flyout, you can also go down to the content section and there you will find montage. <laughs> montage. All right. So I'm going to select the montage. As you can see here, there are several different montages in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. So all of your montage wishes and dreams can come true here. I'm going to select album. And when I select it, it's going to change the tab that I'm on. If I selected a new tab, then it would change that new tab. So the way that you go ahead and work on montages is you drag the montage selections that you want down into the timeline and then you jump off into those montages and you manipulate them play with them and make them all your own so i'm going to start off by pulling down the opening montage here so i'm just going to left click on it with my mouse hold down my left mouse and drag it down into the beginning of the timeline so once i have it here i can right click on it and select edit montage or I can just double left click on it and it will open that section up so let's talk about the interface on the right hand side of the montage editor the first thing that you see is your parameters so if you can actually move the elements of the montage around, you'll see here that you have some sliders that allow you to move things around. If you can add text, you'll see text settings for you to add something into the first section, second section, third section, however many sections there are. And if you can change the background or make the background disappear and then change the background within the timeline, you'll have a background section with a um, box that you can enable or disable. So if I were to place my playhead here, you'll be able to see that there are some things going on in the background. And over here on the right, this is actually the place that would be the background. So if I were to disable this by unchecking this box, see that turns black. And then whatever I have in the timeline below this segment of the montage would show up in that black section. All right. So you can easily do that and add backgrounds to your montages. Down here underneath the preview window, you have each one of the sections that you can add photos or videos to. All right, and we'll talk about that in a second. Underneath that, you have your timeline. Uh, you actually have sections here where you can change the speed or the length of the animation. So as you can see here, this is an animation that is showing throughout this section here. And then it has this little pill here, which is actually a different section of the animation. 
So if I were to want this to be shorter, I could drag this over and now it takes longer to get to that number four. Or I can drag it this way. And now this number four picture will stay longer. So you can actually manipulate the length and the speed of the different animations to an extent. All right. And here it also shows your entire timeline, all of the clips and things that you have on them. The colors represent the different things that you have in the timeline. Right here below the media window, you have the option to change to a thumbnail view or a list view or details. Really, it's a list and I'll have any details over to the right. And then if you have that capability, there's also the scene view over here to the far left. So I'm going to put it back on the thumbnail view. And then here you have your library and you have the tabs that were open on the edit or the organized screens that you were on before entering into the montage editor. So I can move to different tabs and then open up different information. So I'm going to click on this montage tab that I created. And you'll see that I have a bunch of beautiful pictures in here. So you can drag photos or videos into any of these numbered sections below the preview window. So I'm going to drag these bad boys in and just drop them how I want. So the reason why I removed that because I wanted you to see here that little volume icon. If you drop video into any of these and that video has sound or audio, you have the option to mute it. That way if you have some type of background music playing and you don't want to hear the people talking in the video, you can mute that. It makes it really easy to do here. Okay, so... This last picture that I selected, I'm going to move my playhead to the end so I can see the last picture I selected. This is the last picture I selected out of this segment. So when I drag another montage segment into the timeline, in order to make the transition look smooth, I want to use the same picture that I ended with this one at the beginning of the next one. That way, when it transitions, it won't just jump to a new picture. It'll actually look like it's just one picture showing and then it will do the next transition of that next montage. You get what I mean in a second. Just look at this and just notice what picture I'm ending with. So I'm going to click OK to keep all this information the same. I'm going to go back to the montage album by clicking on this tab here. And I'm going to drag some more items. I'm just going to drag them all in. Now, I started off with the opening. And then I did a uh, segue, another segue, and then an ending. I want to have them all in order in the timeline so that it looks pretty. Because I want my slideshow to be thebomb.com. Okay? So remember how I ended off this one segment. I had this photo at the end. So now that I have another segment stepping up, if I move my playhead from the first segment to the second, you'll see that the second segment starts with a full screen picture as well, and then it transitions into other stuff. So I want the same picture so that when it goes from this segment to the next one, it looks smooth. So I'm going to double click this one to open it. I'm going to go back to the tab that has the photos in it. And then you see here this photo, I'm dragging it into number one so that my transition between these two segments looks smooth. I got all my photos in once again. I want to keep an eye on what my last photo is so I can match it up with the next segment. I'm going to click OK.
So now that we're done adding all of the photos in, let's add a little ambiance. But add a little bit of music to this. I'm just going to drag this down into the timeline. And then, you know, trim it, do all the other good, delicious stuff. And, you know, move on with life. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the montage looks like. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love. Comments. Leave me your comments. If you got a question, I will answer your question. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. If you don't subscribe to the channel, you'll be missing out on the juicy, juicy pinnacle studio goodness that I'm bringing you on a regular basis. If you do subscribe, then you will know every time I upload a video and you get to take advantage of the tips and tricks that I provide for pinnacle studio. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.